hello everyone in this video we'll be talking about basic sharepoint apps development and uh, particularly we'll concentrate on how to develop a basic app that is of type sharepoint hosted apps so in this video the main mode of this video is like we'll be covering what are the different types of errors generally will get while uh, deploying or developing the basic sharepoint hosted app so to, to, instead of uh, just giving the list of errors what i'll do is i'll start developing the app and i'll try to cover all types of errors which will occur so that while developing apps you can avoid occurring all those types of errors so let's go ahead and do the first app so to develop apps you need to have one basic site which is of developers type site so to create that I have went to central administration under application management click on create site collections under create site collections I am giving for my site as app development description as app development and the site is app development so here I am choosing a site of type developer site so this site for developers to build test and publish apps here I'm saying administrator I'm giving the primary site collection so site collection administrator as administrator and for the time being so what I did was I created already one site collection which is of developer site if I go back here view all site co site collections here if you see I already created the root site with the name of app development and it stored in SharePoint journey content database so let me open the site this is my site where I'm going to deploy my basic app okay so to develop a basic app we'll use Visual Studio 2012 and which is having the developers tools which already installed in it let me open my visual studio 2012 and here i'm going to create a new project for uh, creating a basic sharepoint hosted app to create that under office dot office slash sharepoint section i'll choose apps under this i'll click on app for SharePoint 2013 here what I'll do is I'll name it as my first app I'm clicking on ok it will initiate the wizard here I can see my app name if I want to change I can change it and to which whole a web I'm going to deploy this particular app so here it is sharepointjourney.com I'm just trying to check whether that particular uh, site is exist or not yes connection is successful we were able to connect to sharepointjourney.com and here what is the type of hosting mechanism we are going to use here I'm using sharepoint hosted method so what of the app which I'm going to deploy and develop it will be in SharePoint site so let me click on finish it is going to create a project called my first app give a moment it's trying to create the project so it has created the project to see the project go to view solution explorer 
this is where my first app project which has been created where I can see the feature the basic feature where I have the pages scripts which are required for that and the content which are required for that images all those information and the content I have CSS files and under the images just app icon in the pages I have default.aspx page which is my app host app host site page app web page and here element.xml this is the page and in, under the scripts this is the main script app.js where the logic has been written so I come back to this logic once I deploy successfully this app so now everything is ready if I see the properties of this particular app which is getting deployed to sharepointjourney.com so let me try to deploy this app I'm just rebuilding it just checking rebuild is successed I'll try to deploy it to see the status I'll go to view output window I can see that the status is one failed okay what is the error message try to redeploy it again this is the error message error occurred in deployment step install app for SharePoint the system account cannot perform this action so with the account I am using is a system account because of that that is the main reason I couldn't able to deploy this particular app so in SharePoint 2013 RTM where you can't deploy apps using system account so to deploy this particular app what I have to do is I have to log in with the different account by using that account which is not a system account I have to deploy it I have one account so I am going to switch user from here let's see I have an account called Devendra I'll enter my password I have everything ready Visual Studio is already opened now I have to open the project which I have created I go here this is my first app I'll open this app and it is preparing the solution yeah it's ready let me show you the solution explorer okay now I'll try to deploy using other account which is not a system account try to deploy it I have one more error here show you again let me hide the warning error occurred in the deployment step uninstall app for sharepoint cannot connect to the sharepoint site sharepointjourney.com make sure this is a valid URL and the sharepoint site is running on the local computer okay so what it's saying is I don't have access to this particular site so what I'll do is I'll just check from here whether I have access or not and let me log in with my credentials this new window Maybe it is still keeping the credentials. Let me open in new browser. 
Right, it's asking for the credentials. I'm going to enter my credentials. See, it says that sorry, this site hasn't been shared with you. Now, I need to have an access to deploy this particular site app to my site. So I'll switch it back to the administrator again. Enter the URL. So I'll open the site. And this is the new feature in SharePoint 2013 where you can just give permission to the people by clicking on the share button. And I'm trying to search. I can see Devendra. And it has show options. By default, it shows members, but I want to have full control access and have shared. Now, here you can see that app development has been shared with Devendra. I'll go back to my account again. I just try to access Jenny site again. Yeah. Now I have full access, so I'll go to this solution, I'll try to deploy again. See, it still says I cannot connect to SharePoint site, that is SharePointGenie.com. Make sure this URL is valid and SharePoint site is running on your local computer. That means that even though I am able to access the site, but whatever I am trying to deploy that app that app is not going to sit in the host site that is host web so what i have to do is i have to give permission from the database level so that it makes sure that i can deploy this particular app onto this site using credentials of devendra which is not a system account so go back to how i can verify that probably i can check the sql server connect to the SQL server and if I go to the security section logins user mappings you might have seen like from the central admin the content database for that particular site is SharePoint journey underscore content database this is what I was talking about to application management we all set collection this is the content database but for devendra credential i'm unable to see that means this user doesn't have any access to deploy onto that particular site so now i have to switch it back to administrator Enter my super secret password uh, go to the SQL server under logins click on Devendra under this go to user mappings where try to find out the SharePoint journey content database and select that give DB owner permission so I have given DB owner permission click OK and now everything is ready let me go back to the normal user logged in now let me check the credentials user mapping see now you can see that the sharepointgenie.com content database is available for Devendra cool now go to my visual studio and try to deploy it this let me see from output window what is happening now I hope the installation is in progress that means I have complete permissions so that I can deploy the app finally the app has been deployed you can see the URL here and if I want to check I can go back to my site just refresh this this is my first app click on this to access it is asking for the credentials 
Can get the credentials. Hooray! Now you can see here the URL will start with and the domain URL. So here you can see it displays hello system account and this is the URL and if I want to go back to the site I can go back to the site which is of the app development okay so from where this particular section is coming app but I'll show you from the central administration you have a new list added section called apps from where you can configure those things if you go to configure app URL here you can see app domain and app prefix so whatever the prefix you mentioned here in my case I have mentioned app so it is showing app then GUID then app domain as a, a different URL so whenever you deploy any apps it will completely run in a different domain so that there will be like it doesn't affect the performance of your site so what are the other things I can manage once I deploy the app let me open the shapeandjourney.com so here you can see apps testing once I deployed the app it is sitting here two minutes ago I have deployed it or what I can do is I can go to site contents and here I have a menu where I can click it I can see what are the details what are the permission levels if I want to remove it I can remove it okay now I want to show you let me go back I want to show you how this hello system account is coming let me go back to Visual Studio and on the home page this is the message and open the app.js which I told which is very very important so this will be loading whenever you load the page document.ready so what it does is whenever the page loads it will call this particular details inside this particular function and so in the first line we are getting the current con client contest then based on that we are getting current web details then based on that we are getting current user and loading all those details if it is success for this div control on default.aspx page we are adding user title I hope which is very much helpful